Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today, guys, we'll show you how to use a brake compressor, the caliper compressor, too. Uh, if you're doing brake job, you need to replace brake pads, roller, or something like that. You need to compress the caliper. We'll show you how to use the two, and it's very inexpensive. We'll have the links in the video, so make sure you check it out, guys. So make sure guys you stay until the end because uh, there is something that you have to do for your safety and make sure you don't crash your car after you replace your brakes. Alright you guys the brake caliper compressor kit is right here okay we got it ready. We got the caliper we put new parts but stay with us we need to do something before we compress it okay it's very very important otherwise you can damage your caliper. Alright guys we need to get brake cleaner and let me explain you why now. When you compress the brake caliper, all of that will go back, the piston will go back in the caliper. And if you have rust, uh, like dirt and stuff like that, it will get in the seal. Okay, what will happen is uh, that dirt will get under the seal and you might develop a leaking brake caliper. And this could be dangerous, guys. So that's why it's very important to clean it, not to have any deposits. Okay, like that, clean everything good there on the back side and then we can proceed with compressing the brake caliper. Next you need to find the one that fits okay the brake caliper. Okay this one does in our case. Okay so you can see it goes like that. Okay next we'll need this one as well right there. Okay so now okay we're gonna go like that and okay you can turn it by hand because it's quite a bit actually. Okay, let's see. It still needs more. You can see guys how much more it needs. Okay, we're getting, we're getting closer. And you see how it's going to compress. It. Okay guys, and now all you have to do is just turn, okay, you can see turn like that and it's going to compress the brake caliper inside the piston, you can see it's getting in. It's not so easy, so you have to put some pressure, but that's the correct way to do it. We used to do it with screwdrivers and things like that and you can really damage things if, you, if you're not careful, even if you're careful, sometimes still you can damage something. Okay, you can see it went in guys. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we can just go ahead and slide it out. Okay, like that. This was on the front brake guys, front brake caliper. Stay with us to see how we're going to do the rear one. Okay guys, now it's very very important to do that step, otherwise if you get in the vehicle, try to drive the first few times you press the brake, you will not have brakes. It's very important to go inside the vehicle and you will need to press, okay, the brake pedal. Okay, and okay, press it 6, 7, 10 times, okay, until it's hard. Okay, and I'll tell you why, because if you compress the piston too much, you have play now. And every time you hit the brake pedal, it will get closer and closer until it contacts the brake pads. Uh, when you feel the brake hard, okay, uh, you gotta make sure that the brake uh, probably have one person, okay, trying to turn, okay, with holding the brake now. Okay, let's see now, let's tread on the steering wheel. Okay, and let me see if I can turn the rotor now. No, okay, perfect. Okay guys, so now one, one important thing, really important thing, let me get the light on. So before we compress the brake piston, okay, you have to clean all that build up there because when you compress it, it's going to go in the seal. And if you have that dirt, dust and all kind of nasty stuff go in the seal, it's going to cause, uh, cause maybe a leak or even the piston not moving back and forth in a nice, smooth way. And that could, uh, that could result in many different things like uh, you, you, you might have a leakage, you might have a piston being stuck which will cause the brake to be on. Okay, so we'll use a little bit of white lithium grease, okay, to lubricate it, okay, when it goes in, just a little bit and later we're going to wipe it so dirt doesn't stick to it. Okay, just a little bit of grease, okay, like that. Okay guys, so we have the kit now here. 
Okay, and this one will be the one that will work on that caliper. You can see it has the four swords exactly the same size. Okay, we're going to install that plate now. Okay, let's now see if it's going to fit or we need to do some adjustments. We need to tighten it, okay, because we previously used it on the front brake, so the, usually the rear caliper will be way smaller. Okay, it will go in, but we still need just a little bit more. Okay, that should be enough. So you gotta make sure that all the holes go in the slots there. Okay, and now you can start, okay, tightening that thing. Okay, it's a reverse thread, so it's really confusing, guys, if you haven't used one. Okay, guys, and we noticed that it won't go in. So you have to have just a little bit of play there, just a little bit, and then you have to screw it in, but you have to be careful not to slip, okay? And you screw it in until it's even with the rubber. Okay, see you there. So you keep pushing in. Okay, and you go clockwise. Okay, you can see, I forgot to mention that this kit, okay, right here, it has right hand side and left hand side. So depending on which, okay, watch on which wheel you're using it, you can even just use it like that. Okay, perfect, right there. That's even, okay, with the seal now, so that's enough. Okay guys, so that's how you use the brake compressor caliper kit. It works on front and brake pads on most of the vehicles. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the link in the description. See you guys next time.